Hello, this is McDee the Beast, and this is McDee Sports 4 coming to you today with my college football playoff predictions and my New Year's Six Bowl predictions. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It'll be great. We appreciate it if you do that, and you won't regret it. So, college football, they have a playoff system. Four teams get in. I'm going to tell you my top six teams at the end of the year. I'm going to show you the four teams I have in and also the two teams that just missed because that's what they do on ESPN. So out so without further to do, let's go ahead and show you the teams I have in the college football playoffs. The number one seed in the college football playoffs is gonna be the Clemson Tigers. I have Clemson going thirteen and zero this year. If you saw um if you saw that my um ACC championship prediction video you, you know that I have Clemson going thirteen and zero. I think they're the best team in the country going into this year. I think they will be the best team in the country by the time the playoff uh, committee goes ahead and makes a final selection. So I have the Clemson Tigers getting the number one seed in the playoffs. The number two seed in the playoffs, I have the Georgia Bulldogs getting the number two seed in the playoffs. I have Georgia going 12-1. and one. That one loss is to Florida by field goal. Uh, I have them winning the, the uh, SEC championship game against Alabama. I, I really just think that Georgia, I think, since they're in the SEC, and I hate saying this, but the SEC is the best conference in the country, I think Georgia is going to be named the second best team in, in the uh, country. So give me Georgia as my number two seed. My number three seed in the, in the college football playoffs is the – Oklahoma Sooners. Um, I haven't shown you my Big 12 final standings yet, um, but we went through every team. If you know that, Oklahoma going 11-1. I do think they will win the championship game, the Big 12 championship game against Iowa State. Um, I think they get the third seed in the playoffs. They'll be 12-1. And, and I think I do think the SEC school gets in over the um, Big 12 school uh, for the seeding-wise. But I do think Oklahoma gets in as your third seed. And then the fourth seed for the playoffs, usually ESPN takes a commercial. I'm not taking a commercial. I have the Oregon Ducks as my fourth seed in the college football playoffs. Now, if you saw my Pac-12 football prediction video, which is basically I'm showing you the standings and the Pac-12 championship game. And, I, and by the way, I did a video on every Power 5 team individually going through them, uh, game, but, but going through their schedule, telling you the pros and cons about them, going through game by game, giving you a record rate. I spent probably at least 10 minutes on every Power 5 school just about. So just about 10 minutes on every Power 5 school. Some of the Power 5 school videos are like eight minutes. But I think even though Oregon goes 11-1, and one, if you watch the Pac-12 championship video, you saw that of Washington losing the Pac-12 championship Against Utah, I think that Oregon they could get an eleven and one because if you if you saw the Alabama um if you saw my Alabama prediction I had them going eleven and two I don't have any team well I have every team in the uh, Big Ten winning losing at least two games I have every team in the uh, Big Ten losing at least two games I don't I I know I boys they stay at thirteen and zero but I don't think their schedule is strong enough I think Oregon gets in by default as your fourth seed in the college football playoffs. I, I'm a person that believes in the in the uh, four teams with the best resumes. I believe a one-loss team should get in before a two-loss team. So give me Oregon at 11-1 and one as your fourth seed in the college football playoffs. It will be the second time if this happens that a team gets in without making a uh, conference championship game. Now, we're going to talk about the uh, college football playoff games and the semifinals. First game is going to be the Fiesta Bowl. Oh, actually, excuse me. I want to go through my fifth and sixth team. I, I'm jumping too quick. I have Alabama as your fifth seed. I think they just missed it. 11-2, and two, I have them going. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I just believe, as I was harping in the uh, Oregon video, I just believe a one-loss team deserves to go ahead a two-loss team. In, in the uh, playoffs. So Alabama, they're 11 and 2. They'll miss out as your fifth seed. First time they will, they will not make the playoffs since the, uh, it, it started in two, back in 2014. And then your sixth seed, 
Ohio State. I have Ohio State. Um, I haven't done their uh, prediction video. Well, I haven't done the Big Ten prediction video video yet. That's going to come out tomorrow. You'll see my uh, Big Ten championship pick. But I'm telling you this right now, I am picking Ohio State to win the Big Ten. They'll be 11-2. They get us a sixth seed. Um, they get in ahead of Washington because I think that law. They get, well, not get in. They get ahead of Washington in the poll. Um, as the sixth seed, because I do think that will be a bad taste. There'll be a bad taste left in the uh, committee's mouth after that Washington loss to Utah in the Pac-12 championship game. So I have Ohio State as your sixth seed in the final rankings in the final playoff rankings. Now let's talk about the Fiesta Bowl. There we go. Okay, I have. Clemson winning the Fiesta Bowl, which is a college football playoff semi bowl. I have Clemson beating Oregon 28 to 19. I personally think that Clemson is just the best team in the country. I think this. Um, I think Oregon is going to give them a good fight. Uh, I think Oregon is very talented, but I think they're a bit too young. And I'm going to trust Dabber Sweeney. Over um, Christian Ball, the head coach over there at um, Oregon. I'm going to go ahead and trust Dabber Sweeney. 28 to 19, Clemson and the Fiesta Bowl. They'll move on to the championship. Now, the Peach Bowl, the other semi college football playoff game Oregon versus Oklahoma. And not Oregon versus Oklahoma, Georgia versus Oklahoma. I have Georgia being Oklahoma 41 to 31. I think it'll be kind of a shootout. Um, but at the end, Georgia to me is better than Oklahoma. Oklahoma has questions on defense. That'll be the difference in this game. People call Jake Fromm the game manager. That's still good enough to go ahead and beat Oklahoma against that defense. 41 to 31, Georgia over Oklahoma in the Peach Bowl. And now my national championship pick. I have the Georgia Bulldogs winning the national championship this year. And I have the Georgia Bulldogs being the 2019-2020 college football champions. The reason why, I just I think an upset's going to happen. Clemson, they're going to be very high. Uh, they're going to probably be a 10-point favorite in the game. I think Clemson, I think they're going, I think Georgia pulls off the upset. I think Clemson is going to be a bit cocky at this point. They're going to be winning, I think, like 29 straight at this point. And I think Georgia pulls off the upset 34, yeah, 34 to 30. Georgia will go back and forth. And I do think that Georgia, at the end, makes a few plays on defense, makes a few plays on offense, and that's going to be the difference. Give me Georgia to win the national championship at the Georgia Bulldogs winning the national championship so that's my college football playoff predictions right there uh tell me how you feel about that below now we're going to talk about the other new year six bowls starting off with the con bowl in the con bowl at boise state representing the group of five versus michigan and i have boise state pulling off the upset in the con bowl 31 to 29 you know that Michigan doesn't probably want to be there because their goal is to make the playoffs this year, and they're going to be selling for the Con Bowl. And by the way, these bowl games, they all have tie-ins, um, and I try to make it as best as possible according to the tie-ins. But I, have Boise, I do have Boise State winning this game, 31-29 over Michigan. I just don't think Michigan's going to be excited to play in the Con Bowl. And this has to change. I'm not going to go really, really on the rant right now, but I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm tired. I am tired of players sitting out of major bowl games like this, and I'm tired of teams not showing up. I think teams should be excited to be in a bowl game, but unfortunately, Michigan proved last year, and Georgia, they both proved last year that that's not the case. I think Michigan, they miss out on the college football playoffs, and I think Boise, and I think Boise State gets them, 31 to 29. Next game, the Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl, I have the Virginia Cavaliers versus the LSU Tigers. I have the LSU Tigers being Virginia, 20-14. to 14. This is going to be a low-scoring game, very competitive. But at the end, LSU, um, their defense, in my opinion, is better than Virginia's. And I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust, uh, uh, I'm going to trust the quarterback there at LSU. 
um, barrel. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and trust him. Um, I really think LSU is a very good team. I think they could finish the season 11 and one and might miss out on the playoffs and might even get into the playoffs. Virginia, I have them going 10 and three. Notre Dame does have a tie-in into this bowl game, and I do think Notre Dame might be a higher um, they might be um, a higher ranking than Virginia in the uh, final rankings. But I think as long as one of the ACC teams has 10 wins, which I have Virginia have get at 10 and 3 at this point, I do think they'll have the ACC team represent the ACC in the Orange Bowl. But I have LSU winning against Virginia 20 to 14. Next game, Sugar Bowl. In the Sugar Bowl, I have Alabama versus Iowa State. I think Alabama wins this one kind of easily, 38 to 23. I'm going to trust Nick Saban that he had the guys ready despite not being a college football uh, game here. Listen, Iowa State, the reason why I have them in this um, Sugar Bowl is because I actually have Iowa State um, making the Big 12 championship game, not Texas. But at the end, Alabama is just a much more superior team. Give me Alabama win this one, 38 to 23, over Iowa State in the Sugar Bowl. And then the final New Year's Six Bowl, the Rose Bowl. In the Rose Bowl, I have Ohio State versus Washington. I have Washington winning this game, 20 to 17. I think Washington is better than Ohio State. Now, Ohio State, I do have them ranked higher in the final rankings, but I think Ohio State goes ahead. And, and uh, I think Ohio State goes ahead and loses this one against Washington. Washington, um, they have a pretty – I know they lose a lot of talent defensively. I think uh, those issues are going to be fixed by then. Uh, they're going to have a pretty good quarterback in Jacob Beeston. I really think that Washington's going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and win the Rose Bowl here, 20-17. to 17. So that's the New Year's Six Bowl predictions. And I gave you my college football predictions. Um, I'm going to give you some bowl predictions for a few other bowl games that seem to be important, including bowl games like the Citrus Bowl and the Outback Bowl. Let's talk about it. Citrus Bowl, I have Texas, I have Texas A&M versus Notre Dame. Texas A&M wins 24-17. Outback Bowl, Penn State versus Florida. Florida wins 27-20. Camping World Bowl, Texas versus Miami. Miami wins 22-17. Holiday Bowl, Utah versus Northwestern, Utah wins 9-7. to Gator Bowl, Kentucky versus Michigan State. That would be a great basketball matchup, but Michigan State wins 17-7. to Alamo Bowl, Oklahoma State versus Stanford. Oklahoma State wins 33-28. to uh, Sun Bowl, Arizona State versus Syracuse. Syracuse wins 38-35. Belk Bowl, Tennessee versus Wake Forest. Wake Forest wins 45-36. Music City Bowl. Auburn versus Maryland. Maryland wins 35-31. Military Bowl. NC State versus UCF. UCF wins 34-21. Liberty Bowl. TCU versus South Carolina. South Carolina wins 23-16. Red Box Bowl. Nebraska versus Cal. Nebraska wins 34-20. Pinstripe Bowl, Wisconsin versus Pitt. Wisconsin wins 20 to 7. Any other um, important bowl games here? We have a few more. Las Vegas Bowl, Fresno State versus Washington State. Washington State wins 32 to 30. Crick Lane Bowl, Purdue versus uh, Virginia Tech. Purdue goes ahead and wins this one, 38 to 28. Cheez It Bowl, Baylor versus Arizona. Baylor wins this one, 42 to 35. Outdoor, te Outdoor Texas Bowl, UAB versus Utah State. UAB wins 31 to 24. Rusty any more important bowls? Because that wasn't really that big of a important bowl. Yeah, uh, game right here. I have all the bowl games down here. Um, hmm. Okay, two more bowl games. Birmingham Bowl, Mississippi State versus Houston. Houston wins 23-20. to Independence Bowl, the final bowl game. Ole Miss versus Florida State. Florida State goes ahead and wins this one. 36-20. So those are all the other bowl games that are meaningful, in my opinion. 
Uh, one other one I'll give you is the Hawaii Bowl. Um, I think Hawaii versus South Florida, and I think Hawaii goes ahead and wins that one, 31 to 30. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a fun uh, season college football, but and I think we're going to see the unexpected. I think the Georgia Bulldogs wins. They're going to go ahead and win their first national championship since 1980 and upset Clemson in the national championship. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about my college football playoff picks and the New Year's Six Bowl picks and other bowl game predictions that I just mentioned. Always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It will be greatly appreciated if you do that. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.